Ten practical English phrases for worries and relief from EspressoEnglish.net. Number one, I'm really worried about, or I'm really worried that. Use worried about plus a noun. For example, I'm really worried about the test. Use worried that plus a subject and verb. For example, I'm really worried that I won't pass the test. Number two, I'm afraid that, or I'm scared to death that. I'm scared to death is a more extreme way to express your fear. For example, I'm afraid that I'll make a mistake during my presentation. I'm scared to death that I'll forget everything during my presentation and just stand there looking stupid. Number three, I can't help thinking, and I can't stop thinking. Use can't help thinking when there's a thought that you know you shouldn't have, usually because it's illogical or untrue, but it keeps coming back into your mind. For example, I can't help thinking that if I turn down this job offer, I'll never have another opportunity this good. Use can't stop thinking when something is occupying your mind constantly. For example, I can't stop thinking about my upcoming interview. I'm really nervous. Number four, it's been keeping me awake, or it's been keeping me up at night. Use this phrase when your worries are preventing you from sleeping. For example, I've been worried sick about my kids' problems in school. It's been keeping me up at night. This expression, worried sick, also means extremely worried. Number five, what if? Use this phrase to express hypothetical bad situations that you are worried about. These situations can be in the past, present, or future. For example, Jason is two hours late. What if he got in a car accident? I'm not sure I can do such an intensive academic program. What if I fall behind in my studies? Number six, phew. This is an informal interjection we use in response to someone giving us good news that relieves one of our worries. For example, if the teacher says, "Everyone in the class passed the test," a student might respond, "Phew! I thought I'd failed for sure." Number seven, thank God or thank goodness. These are also interjections that can be used for relief from both serious problems and not so serious problems. For example, the results of the exam show you don't have cancer. Oh, thank God! The 4 p.m. meeting was canceled. Thank goodness! Now I'll be able to go home a little earlier. Number eight, you had me worried there, or you had me worried for a moment. Use this phrase when the other person is talking and they start to say things that begin to worry you, but then they say something that relieves your worries. For example, if your mother is complaining a lot about her marriage and you begin to suspect that your parents might get a divorce, but then your mother says, "I would never leave your father," you could then respond, "Well, you had me worried for a moment." Number nine. You have no idea what a relief it is to use this phrase to emphasize that the relief is very strong, or when the relief is greater than it appears. For example, you have no idea what a relief it is to know that my son has a stable job. He had a lot of problems as a teenager, and I was afraid he'd end up in jail or on the streets. Number ten, that's a huge load off my mind. Or that's a huge weight off my mind. Use these phrases to express relief from a worry that had been constantly tormenting you. For example, good news: the boss said we don't have to write a two hundred page report. A five page summary will be fine. Phew! That's a load off my mind. I'd been fretting about how on earth we were going to get that done. Fretting about is another way to say worrying about. You'll learn hundreds of useful phrases for daily life in the Everyday English Speaking Course, available at EspressoEnglish.net. The lessons cover everyday English, social English, and functional English. 
Visit EspressoEnglish.net, click on Courses, and look for Everyday English Speaking. It's the most popular course at EspressoEnglish.net.